All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends, and let us do the good work for today. Uh, you know, the purpose of our videos is just to show you it doesn't matter who you are. I mean, Christian, Jewish, Hindu, Buddha, atheist, it doesn't matter who you are. It's just to show you how Islam cannot stand the questions and how Muslims always, they have to lie in order to defend such a cult. You see, uh, a very clear proof that Islam is not a valid religion, that Muslims have to lie in order to defend it. Additional proof that Muslims are ashamed of their cult, that they lie. Someone who is proud about his belief, he will not lie to defend it. He will say, this is what it is. Yesterday, we have <clears throat> a session for eight hours. And actually, I don't mind even to stay for many hours more. But you know, YouTube gave us only eight hours for uh, live streaming. I don't know how, how some channel they can do 24 hours. I'm not sure how that can be. Uh, so, so, uh, First, I apologize, by the way. <clears throat> uh, I am late, look like, right? Because as you see, I thought it's going to be 3 p.m. It looked like by mistake, I choose 2.30, not uh, 3 p.m. But my plan was to come at 3 p.m. And that's why my alarm now started, as you just heard. Uh, so yesterday, we showed you how Muslims always, they try to deceive us. Muhammad, he married women just because they have orphans. Mm. Look, Aisha, she have a lot of orphan too. She was six years old. So that she has orphans. What's how, what are you talking about? Sophia, she has she he killed her family. I mean, they are willing to fabricate anything desperately to defend this sex maniac, self proclaimed prophet. Imagine not a single person who called us yesterday, like actually there's one of them, to be honest, like to be co correct, uh, you know, he was decent. The guy, he said he want to call his sheikh to call me, if you remember, from Pakistan. The other guy, he said to us that the Quran says that you can marry you can what you can marry you can marry four women or four slaves but the quran doesn't say that the quran says go and if two and the three and four and if you cannot afford it go for one which is a free woman and the free the slaves as many as you have and you can go your homework there's tons of videos explaining how many slaves you can have in Islamic world, unlimited. The caliphate used to have between, like as, a, as an example, uh, there's a caliphate, his name Harun Rashid. Rashid. In one palace, he have about 10,000 slaves, and they are divided. Some they are for belly dancing, some they are for sex, some they are for cooking, some for etc. So 10,000 slaves owned by one man in one palace. So always they lie to us in order to deceive you and to make Muhammad look like a good person. If you watch now any video about why Muhammad he married Aisha, you will see there's a guy, his name is Khalid Yasin, and I made a video about it. He says the Prophet, Allah showed him a dream. Always Allah, always Allah showed dreams to Muhammad about having sex with women. Muhammad, he saw a dream. Allah told him that you are going to have sex with, 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 the, with, with your own son wife. So he forced the son to give him his wife. To the point, Aisha, she said, Inni ara rabbuka ila hawaka ya Muhammad. I see your, your God, he rushed into your sexual desire, Muhammad. Do you believe it? Aisha, she is not stupid. And for sure, she was saying that based on jealousy. But it's true. Hmm. 
Muhammad he made even chapters in the Quran saying that any woman she can offer herself to the Prophet I mean this Prophet is so busy spreading the word of God to the point he have time for vagina who is of you want to offer herself to the Prophet the Prophet he have a lack of women he have 13 women in his home only and hundreds of sex slaves that's not enough we need more who is going to donate her vagina to the Prophet And excuse my language. I'm talking about Islam. If you are sensitive, don't listen to me. I say things as it is. Do you see what Aisha she said to Muhammad? This is the truth about Islam. What Aisha she just said in front of us. This is the first hand witness of the sexual morality of this sex maniac prophet. She said. It seemed to me that your Lord has sent to satisfy your desire, Abdul Muhammad. Would she have a wife next to him, and a wife next to her, another 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 wife next to her? Should we continue? So, why you need women to give themselves to you? There's one thing you notice that all cult leaders in the world always they take sexual advantage of their followers. You can find that in America, you can find that in Europe, you can find like you know they claim to be in the Christians, but they are the same as Muhammad. They take sexual advantage of their followers, like the Mormon, etc. Many. I am the prophet sleep with me I mean come on you have you have a holy duty now to make the testicle of the prophet happy <laughs> 